when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his field to feed swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But he, when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion, and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet, and bring hither the fatty calf and kill it, and let us, make, let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found, and they began to be married. Now his elder son was in the field, and as he came and drew nigh to the house, he heard music and dancing. And he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said unto him, Thy brother is come, and thy father hath killed the fatty calf, because he hath received him safe and sound. And he was angry, and would not go in. Therefore came his father out and entreated him, and he answered and said to his father, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgressed I at any time thy commandment. And yet thou never gavest me a kid that I might make merry with my friend. But as soon as this thy son was come, which hath delivered thy living with harlots, thou hast killed for him the fatted calf. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me. And all that I have is thine. It was meet that we should make merry and be glad. For this thy brother was dead and is alive again and was lost and is found. My subject tonight, as Brother Davis told you, was four reasons to avoid the far country. This is indeed a very familiar account to us. A young man grows up in his father's house and there he finds love and affection. He finds provision and protection in the father's house. 